Om, I'm Swami Sita Ramananda and today I'd like to talk about the COVID-19 which means Coronavirus Disease 2019. We'd like to offer a few yogic advices. I like to talk about uh, the idea of self-quarantine, the idea of um, the yogic technique of turning inwards, the idea of how to live with yourself and be happy and healthy. So in these times we are hearing some unusual phrases, receiving some unusual advice such as social distancing, use pranams and namaste instead of hugs and embraces, do not travel, stay at home, work from home, and we talk about public health responsibility. So the question is, if we are not going shopping, or we are not entertaining ourselves outside, not rushing about doing things. So what are we going to do? Can we live with ourselves? Can we really follow the yogic lifestyle, which is simple living, high thinking, that we have been talking about? How do we rethink our priorities? How can we go on appreciating life in face of this changing world around us? So the question is, how do we face the virus outbreak positively and healthily as yogis and yoginis, as healthy members of our society, helping to maintain a healthy environment? So here, we are offering a few reminders from the yogic teachings. The number one. Remember the connection between breath and prana. Prana is life energy, life force. The more we breathe, the more prana or life energy we have. Prana is stored up and used when needed. So we should not stop breathing practices out of fear of the virus or stop breathing like somebody said, you know. They are afraid to breathe. So there is a breathing exercise called Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati cleanses your lungs. So continue to do breathing exercise. Choose places in nature to do your breathing exercise. Don't go out in the street or in the, anywhere to do breathing exercise. But find nature and continue to breathe. So the point number two, besides breathing, you can increase your prana many other ways. Actually, you can live a pranic debt-free life, accumulate prana instead of spending. So how do we get prana? from nature. The key is we need to turn to Mother Nature and reconnect with her. Live in nature, get prana from the element earth. Example, walking on earth instead of driving, contemplating the mountains and the trees, doing forest bathing, doing gardening, and we can also get prana from water. Example, bathing in the ocean and the streams, natural ponds, drinking fresh water, and also get the prana from fire element. Being in sunshine a little daily, drinking warm water, eating warm food, and we get prana from air. Do abdominal breathing, we call diaphragmatic breathing or yogic breathing to get double intake of oxygen and expel the tension and the fatigue 
through long exhalation. And also, last, we can get prana from ether. That means be in good space and good environment to support you. I mean good thought environment. Pay attention to feeling of negativity. If you are alone and you feel isolated, because if you are alone and you feel isolated, this can lead you to depression and addiction. Prana is connected with the mind, the emotions and the thoughts. So the point number three is positive thinking. Learn to do positive thinking. Positive thinking makes you feel strong and energetic. So what is positive thinking? Cultivate joy, appreciation and gratitude, convert fears, anxieties to courage, faith, self-confidence and contentment. So try to write down and share five points of gratitude each day for mental health. For example, you write down, I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful today for the fresh air that I can breathe. I'm grateful for the good food I have today. I'm grateful for my, for my friends and my family. I'm grateful for this life at this time. The point number four. You need to remember that concentration of mind brings strength of mind and boosts the immune system. So keep yourself busy at home if you're not working. Catch up on the household chores or the organization and the cleaning. Remember that an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Pay attention to obsession on negative thoughts. This is not proper practice of concentration, which needs to be on positive thought. The point number five. How to concentrate on positive and uplifting thoughts. There is a science of mantra, sacred sound formula. For example, the sound Om. Or you can concentrate on uplifting objects like flowers, trees, blue sky, the movement of the breath in and out of your lungs. Try to stay away from distractions. Distractions bring viruses to the mind. Keep your mind strong and elevated. This supports your immune system. And that's how you fight the virus, by increasing your immune system. The so point number six, we are talking about remedial measures and healing by specific mantra. Consciously repeat the sacred mantra Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Lord Shiva can bring drink poison and deal with the virus. So this is a specific quality of that mantra is to remove negativities. So the more you repeat this mantra, the better it is. Because mantra work cumulatively by repetition. Another thing you can do is to download and play at low volume in your house even at night the well-known Mahamajun Jai Mantra for protection, healing and liberation. 
ఓం త్రయంబకం యజామహే సుగంధిం పుష్టివాదనం ఊర్బాహుకమివ బంధనాన్ మృక్షుముక్షియమృత ఓం త్రయంబకం యజామహే సుగంధిం పుష్టివాదనం ఊర్బాహుకమివ బంధనాన్ మృక్షుముక్షియమృత ఓం త్రయంబకం యజామహే సుగంధిం పుష్టివాదనం so when you listen to the healing mantra all the time in the background this will give you a positive and reassuring background of thought if you know of someone who is sick address the prayer to the person in your mind and send them the healing powers of the mantra by your chanting of this mantra either 3 times 9 times 27 times 54 times or best 108 times so the point number 7 you need to conquer your fears by affirming your inner strength and this is through the mantra of goddess Durga Om Shri Durga Ye Namaha or Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha you can use a strong form of the mantra of goddess Durga who is our own inner strength dwelling, dwelling within us so I'm going to repeat the mantra Om Dum Dogaye Namaha Om Dum Dogaye Namaha Om Dum Dogaye Namaha Om Dum Dogaye Namaha So you can repeat the mantra again three times, nine times, twenty-seven times, fifty-four times or hundred and eight times This will remove the effect of the fear caused by the planet Rahu in our confusing times it is said that Rahu K2 is the one that creates all this confusion delusion and fear and it is well known that goddess Durga and her mantra is helping to calm down the Rahu effect so you can also visualize the goddess riding the lion with her eight arms with the weapons and this will bring yourself calm and also give you courage we continue on the Vedantic teaching Vedanta is you can say the yoga philosophy ultimately the world as we see it is unreal because it is only what our mind is thinking and projecting out by habit reinforced by countless repetition in the past you have had countless fears and traumas before and you will see now many reasons to be afraid again that's why you are very quick to panic and to be afraid and you are not using your intellect in the same manner you will see a snake when there is only an innocent rope because the idea of the snake and the fear of the snake is in your mind and you project it out so wake up bring the light of wisdom and see things as they are things are not so bad the virus is not so terrible our own weakness 
and our own readiness to let go of our self-confidence and to let go of our mastery is the problem. So do not waste energy in drama and worries. Think of this as just a test to see how strong you are. Apply the yogic principles and be victorious. Jai. Victorious. The number 10. Assert your healthy self and know that you are the master of your body and mind. The internet world is not the only reality. It amplifies and distorts. There are a lot of verbal delusions and likes and dislikes surrounding you. These are the types of thoughts or vrittis, according to yoga, that will bring you pain. So the fewer of these is better. If you want to keep yourself informed, browse the news from authoritative sources quickly and get back to your grounded self. Your body and mind are your instruments. Your health is in your hands. You are not a victim. There is a doctor within you that knows what to do. Do what is necessary. Wash your hands, be prudent, limit your desires and needs, and take care of yourself and take care of your health with self-confidence. Point number 11. This is a great opportunity for us to rethink our priorities. So take this as an opportunity to focus and to change our lives by adopting new and good healthy habits. You do not need much to be happy. Happiness is within when you calm down the mind. Be ready to let go of attachments to things the way they were. So be in the present. Don't be attached to the past. And see this as an opportunity. Point number 12, practice contentment. This is a great opportunity for you to spend time with yourself. Do more yoga, not less. Do more meditation, not less. Turn the mind inwards. Yoga helps you to be with yourself and to have clarity. In fact, social distancing is a great concept promoted by yogis long ago. In the yogic context, it means not to depend on outside relationships for your happiness. Not to be needy and searching outside for happiness or support. Think about this. Less social life, more inner life. Less thoughts, more peace. Less thoughts, more joy. The yogic teaching is Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha. It is exactly that. Less thoughts, less agitation less movement. So namaste to yourself and to others and find your strength within your own true self. Love yourself. You will then find others 
as your heart opens. You are never alone. So don't be afraid of loneliness. Turn inward. You are the essence of all. Connect to your wisdom heart. This is a very good time to do it. The universe is giving you this precious opportunity to do this. So try to be creative and find the time to do the right thing. Now the conclusion. The conclusion thought is this is a blessing in disguise. Time to turn inwards. Less travel, less movement, more opportunity for practice, more clarity. Instead of seeing this as depressing, see it as an opportunity to turn within and to go straight to our goal of happiness. Indeed, it is a blessing in disguise. So please, practice all the above step by step. Think about this. If you need more guidance, we are here to support you. Om Namah Shivaya. Are you up to that